Hey guys and gals, hope everybody's doing all right today. Randy Carter with Angler's Choice here. Just want to take a minute and speak with you about uh, a common issue that you see. You may have been on the road going fishing or to the store, or whatever the case may be. You see some unlucky soul on the side of the road with bearing issues. The bearings come out, whatever the case may be, and it stops the trailer dead in its tracks. I want to take just a couple of minutes and just show you a couple of easy checks that you can do to try to keep this from happening to you. Of course, you'll never know when they're gonna go bad or when they're not, but at least you can get an idea when they might need some service. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things right now that's gonna help you out with that. Uh, hope this stuff helps you out and uh, we're gonna go talk about it right now. All right, so the first thing that we can check, uh, when you make a pull with your trailer, say you, you're at the lake, you load your boat up, you make a 30, 45 minute drive home. When you get out of the truck, or this goes for anywhere, gas station, anywhere, hop out, Take your hands, just lay it on the, right next to the hub on the wheel. If you can hold your hand there for six or seven seconds and not pull it, then those bearings are running at a good temperature. If they get so hot that you cannot hold your hand there for six seconds or seven seconds, you have to pull your hand away, that's an uh, indicator something's going on with your bearings. Second thing you can check. Now, if you have a tandem, as you see, we're here now with brakes. You may hear some caliper drag, pads rubbing, things like that, but you're gonna listen for a roar if you give your tire, jack your tire up, give it a spin, you hear a loud roar, that's an indicator that your bearings are probably wearing wrong. Something's going on with them. You may need to get them serviced. Third thing you can check is just as simple as taking your hands on each side of the tire and try to move it side to side, up and down. There should be literally no movement in your bearings if there everything's tight running together as it should. If you have movement in that tire up and down or side to side, that's a good indicator that, again, you're having bearing issues. Fourth thing you can look for is a ring of grease on the inside of your wheel. That's letting you know that the rear seal is coming out, you're losing grease, that's gonna directly impact your bearings. So this is just a couple of things that you can look at that'll hopefully keep you off the side of the road and keep this headache from happening to you. Um, if it does, just remember, on a tandem axle, you can always pull that tire that's bad and get to a safe place. You can run this on one tire. It's not gonna hurt a thing. If you're on a single axle, it may sound like the world's coming to an end, but try to get to a safer position than right on the side of the road before you try to deal with this stuff. But do these checks, uh, that temperature check especially, it's gonna help you in the long run, keep your bearings healthy, running safe, and keep you off the side of the road. So I hope this information helps you. Thanks so much for joining in and watching. If you have any questions, call any of our dealerships, Lexington, Spindale, North Carolina, or Martinsville, Virginia. Our service folks will be glad to talk with you and help you with any questions or help you along the way to get your trailer repaired. So you guys be safe, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.